You are the tool room attendant. Nobody comes into the tool room except for you and me. I used to say if anybody comes into the tool room, you can kick them in the bum bum. But a parent got upset and I'm not allowed to say that anymore. On this sheet, you're going to put the name, the date, and the block. Well, then people are going to come and sign out tools. Let's say a little Billy wants to borrow a hammer. You could write down Billy and hammer. Billy uses the hammer, he come, goes away, he comes back, the hammer's covered in blood and hair. You say, dude, clean off the hammer, because there's no reason why you should get dirty, because they can't clean off their tools. Set high standards of cleanliness. If you set high standards of cleanliness, people will almost meet your high standards of cleanliness. If you set low standards of cleanliness, people will almost meet their low standards of cleanliness. And you know me well enough, I set almost unattainably high levels of uh, standards. Be thankful you're not my family and have to live with that forever. Let's say Billy uses a hammer, he comes back, it's clean to your high level of satisfaction. Cross it off legibly and put it back in the rack. <clears throat> Do you know what the word legibly means? It means readable, so we know who had it. <clears throat> Let's say he can't bring the hammer back because it's buried deep in the back of somebody else's head and that person has wandered off with blood squirting all over the place and everything. That's fine. Billy buys us a new hammer. Let's say instead the hammer hits the steel plate in the other kid's head that he got after a tour duty in Nam and my hammer gets broken. As long as I know about it, I promise I will not get mad. I get a budget to replace tools. If no tools get uh, damaged or lost, I buy more tools. Let's say all the tools go out. They get written down. They come back. They're clean to their high level of satisfaction. They're crossed off legibly. They're put back in the rack and something's missing. You buy us a new tool or whatever's missing. Your sole responsibility is whatever leaves is written down. If they lose it, it's not your problem. If we don't know who lost it, now it's your problem. Having said that, I do a cursory glance around the tool room to make sure nothing is missing. <clears throat> so I just kind of look. Cursory is a fancy phrase, which here means just a quick glance. I see there's a socket missing. Uh, I'm pretty sure I left that out there, so I can't ding that for you. I'm really just looking for holes. At the end of the class, everything should be coming back. People are going to throw tools at you. Just put them away, cross them off at the end. We're just really look for holes and see what's not handed in and what's not returned. There are some behind the door here, mostly measurement stuff and some specialty pliers. If you need to go break or pee pee, you're going to lock up the tool room so nobody pilfers the tools while you're gone. Do you know what the word pilfers means? What? Okay, pilfers means stolen. <clears throat> we don't want people to steal the tools, so lock it up. There's also down here a variety of outdated magazines. There's car magazines, and there's like dirt bike, and snowmobiler, and hunting, and guitar, and like hockey, and stuff. And there's car magazines! Read those, or just look at the pictures, which I'm sure that's all we do. This is also a full-time union paid position at Okanagan College. There's a guy there who does this for a living. That's what he does. He also has to be the first aid attendant. You do not have to be our first aid attendant. If anybody passes out, we, uh, we don't do mouth to mouth. We just set the shop back to blow. Um, <clears throat> other than that, any queries, quandaries, quirks, quarks, quasars, question marks, nothing? All right then, you got this. Oh, and because you're the tour room attendant, you get to choose what kind of music we get to listen today. Good luck.